Tracy, I live in England. Um, I've been here for the past two months in Merida working for You Belong as a volunteer on the business development project. So I had a bit of time away from work um, and I wanted to, instead of uh, just travelling around, I wanted to stay in a place and give something back and try to make an impact. Yeah, I think it's really lived up to that. So I'm working on the business development project, which is really great because um, most of it is working with the Ubalon team themselves and they kind of give me projects to do. They said to me at the beginning, like, what ideas do you have? Like, what projects would you like to do? Like, what can you bring to us? Some of the things, as an example, um, I've helped with the the thumbnails that you see on the front of all these videos. I've created the help with Photoshop creating those. Um, I've done some filming and video editing here in Merida, and then lots of other bits and pieces where I've kind of given uh, feedback as a volunteer on the website, like how I thought it, how I thought it looked, and how it made volunteers feel, and how we could perhaps change it and we kind of shaped it all. Merida's fantastic. Um, everybody said to me, like, oh my god, you're going to, to Mexico, like, that's crazy, it's so dangerous. Um, but actually, I feel, we were talking about this earlier, and I feel safer here, as in walking around on my own as a woman, um, even in the evening. Like, I feel safer here than I would in London or at home. Everybody is super friendly as well. That I think that's one of the big differences. All of the people, like, if it's a street vendor, if it's the hostel staff, people that I'm working with on the projects are just would go out of their way to help you. Like, they don't just say, oh, if you ask directions, it's not just, oh, it's over there. Like they'll walk the entire street to, sh to show you where to go. <laughs> there is so much to do um, in Merida. Well, not just in Merida, but around Merida. Loads of people that are traveling around Mexico come here as a bit of a base because they're, for example, there's cenotes, which are kind of like caves, but they're open to the like to the sunlight as well and they've got pools where you can swim and sunbathe, jump off rocks and all that kind of stuff which we go to every couple of weekends. There's also the Mayan ruins, um, there's a few different places you can go see those which are really interesting you can learn a lot about the history of this place. Um, what else do we do? There's the beaches, there's some beaches which are closed which are okay, there's some beaches which are a bit further away, like an hour and a half or so, which are beautiful and really nice. There's also loads of weekend trips, places like Tulum, Isla Holbox, Playa del Carmen, uh, Isla Mujeres, which are all within like a few hours. If you haven't been abroad alone before ever and you want to do it and you want to make sure you have enough support then I think it's fantastic because there's so much support on offer. Whereas similarly if you've done heaps of travelling before and perhaps you don't feel like you need that much support but you want to stay in a place for a while and actually learn to live there and learn to be a local and um, learn to get to know the place then I think it's equally fantastic for that. So my advice is just go for it, join. <laughs>